In 2021, a truck driver sustained serious crash injuries when he was struck by a forklift whilst unloading freight from a heavy vehicle in northern New South Wales. How the incident occurred At 8.15am, a heavy rigid truck arrived at the rear loading bay of a freight company. The driver parked the truck to the right-hand side of the loading area, forward-facing as to unload the vehicle. The truck driver alighted from the vehicle, lifting the back roller door of the truck and positioned himself in the back tray of the truck to assist in the unloading of several pallets of kegs. The area was clear with good visibility. However, no loading or exclusion zone was set up around the vehicle and no pedestrian walkways identified. The truck driver was using a motorised pallet jack to move the loaded pallets from the truck's tray to the hydraulic lift gate so the forklift driver could access the loaded pallets. On the left-hand side of the loading bay, a forklift driver was operating a second forklift. The forklift driver approached the truck to lift the pallet of kegs onto the tines of the forklift. As the forklift driver lowered the pallet, one of the kegs became unsecured and rolled across the loading bay. The forklift driver stopped and exited the forklift to collect the keg and return to the pallet. At this time, the truck driver positioned a second pallet of kegs for the forklift driver to unload. He then exited the rear of the truck and proceeded to the other side of the yard behind the forklift to review some paperwork. Unaware the truck driver had moved position, the forklift driver reversed the forklift to collect the second pallet when he struck the truck driver. The driver sustained serious crush injuries as he was pinned by the forklift. All workers on site at the time of the incident were employed by the company and all forklift drivers were appropriately licensed. The forklift had an operating audible reversing alarm and no reversing camera. A traffic management plan is designed to keep people, product and plant separated and safe. Workers are killed each year by being hit by moving plant in the workplace. The task of loading and unloading presents several risks and contributes to the serious injury and death of drivers each year. Before loading and unloading any type of freight from a vehicle, always ensure that there's been a separation of people, product and plant. As a business, you can manage the safety of yourself and others by ensuring that all persons on site receive a site induction and are aware of traffic management plans. There is a separation of people, product and plant using barriers, walkways and safe work zones. Operators of plant and vehicles on site are instructed to maintain speed limits. Vehicles are parked on a hard level surface and are properly immobilized. The vehicle is positioned in a loading, unloading zone or an exclusion zone established around the vehicle. An effective system of communication and visual contact is in place during any loading, unloading or movement of plant. Freight is loaded and unloaded as per an agreed load plan. All persons wear high visibility clothing and correct PPE for the site. All loads have been checked and all persons are clear of the vehicle before drivers leave the zone. When working around heavy vehicles, always keep people, product and plant separated to ensure the work health and safety of all workers on site. For further guidance, refer to www.safework.nsw.gov.au.